back down, he rushes to the playground to play with his friends. When he reaches there, he saw his friend playing video game on his new phone. Then he suddenly runs to his house and goes to his father and asks for a new phone. His father refuses as his father's financial condition wasn't stable. But when his son asked many times, his father agrees. Next day, his father goes to a merchant to get loan for his son's mobile. The merchant asks him, when will you return the money? The man says before Ramadan. It's Ramadan. The man has not returned money to the merchant. The merchant comes to the man's house and asks for money. The man kneels down and starts crying. The merchant pats his back and says, don't cry, I forgive you. And your word has decreed that you worship none but him, and that he be dutiful to your parents. If one of them or both of them attain old age in your life, say not to them a word of disrespect, not shout at them, but address them in term of honor. So there is no verse number 23. Same second, there are two families, one is financially stable and other is not. It is time for iftar and family first is having iftar. The girl comes very happily as they were going to eat many delicious dishes. Now family second is... ...having iftar. The girl comes and says, sadly, don't we have anything to eat for iftar? So this brings us to the realization that there are lots of people in this world that don't even have any kind of food for iftar or suhoor. And as we all know, the Ramadan is the month of charity. We have took an initiative to collect donations to help some needy people. So I request all the teachers and students that if they are interested, they can donate in the donation box.